youthful exuberance and I'm pleased with Peter Crouch as well because his goal scoring record for England has been absolutely phenomenal and uh, it could be the sort of evening where he, he makes hay um, against the opposition they're up against. And what kind of challenge will Montenegro, uh, Montenegro pose? It's a growing in confidence which in a way kind of might suit England. It's not as though they're going to come here and just defend, defend, defend. They might fancy it a bit. Well, sides from Eastern Europe or Balkan states, they either really fancy it when they come to Wembley and if they get a bit of joy early on they're all comfortable in position they you know played several of them when I was playing they settle on the ball if you if you allow them time and space they can play and they can hurt you if you get in amongst them and you, you start the game at a good tempo then they can fold so the first 10-15 minutes will set the yeah. tone definitely and we should remember there's some great players you think of of Yugoslav or Serbian or actually Montenegrin Predrag Mijatovic is one uh, Dejan Savicevic is president of the uh, of the Montenegrin Football Association is another one they, they know their football well I'm a bit concerned about them really because they were Yugoslavia then they yeah. were Serbia and Montenegro yeah. the, the next time they come they'll be playing at Hounslow Leisure Centre in a five a side because they're just running out of players to pick from aren't they so. right. oh look at those mascots cute or what and there's the skipper getting ready to uh, there's a skipper getting ready to lead them out the England team getting set let's join our commentary team for England versus Montenegro showing a commendable turn of speed Andy Townsend has left us here and he's made his way up there to join Peter Drury thank you Adrian the uh, the constantly evolving England team John Terry's withdrawal from the squad on Sunday meant that now more of the 23-man World Squad World Cup squad are uninvolved in this week's party than are involved the starting 11 includes only five who began a game in South Africa he's not one of them by accident and design we're moving on pretty quickly here England have played their last seven games, four at the World Cup, three since it, without Rio Ferdinand. He last led them out to face Japan in Graz four and a half months ago. Nothing which has happened during the intervening period. Even his excellence with the armband has led the management to alter their original captain's appointment. Steven Gerrard drops back into the ranks and is invited by Rio and the rest to inspire as much without the armband as he has been with it. Montenegro are having the time of their very brief independent life. Played 3 won 3 in their first ever European Championship qualifying campaign. These guys haven't so much as conceded a goal. It is a five team group whose fifth ranked team are top. And by the way, they are not that surprised. <laughs> Ancient and modern. World football's original nation against its newest nation at perhaps its most famous home. And no question, England do feel at home here. 11 consecutive home wins for the national team. Wherever else things might have gone wrong this year, Wembley continues faithfully to weigh in England's favour. A 12th straight home win tonight would be a new all-time national record. This evening are Sir Dave Richards, the chairman of the FA International Committee, and intriguingly there, the president of the Montenegrin FA, Dejan Savicevic, one-time Yugoslav superstar who spent several years in the 1990s querying his regular remission from a star-studded Milan team by the man who bought him, one Fabio Capello. He did have good times too, he scored a wonderful goal in the European Cup final. England players have had uh, at least a week and a half without a game, which helps. Their collective form is good too, three wins in a row. This is the last competitive game of a calendar year which history won't remember fondly. But actually, England have lost just once in 2010. They happened to choose the wrong game to lose. Two of these Montenegrin players have represented Serbia and Montenegro in the past. The two have performed in the poshest Champions League venues. They did visit Italy in World Cup qualifying 
but it's a fair bet that for most this is the trophy game of their career so far. Coming to it with the freshness of the keen, upbeat new boys that they are. After all that Jerusalem you've been hearing from Delhi, English folk can revert now to God Save the Queen, but first the national anthem of Montenegro. <laughs> Montenegro moments away. At Euro 68, a tied semi final was decided by the toss of a coin. This is why penalty shootouts were introduced. When they were first used, Germany lost for the only time. With over 270 ways to bet on football, I will bet on the first goal scorer on the number of cards, on corners. And I will back him to get a hat-trick. And because everything can change in a second, I will bet him play during the game. Join today and have a £10 bet on football and we'll give you a £20 bet free. Go to williamhill.com forward slash football and use code FREE20. I don't know if you heard about this new website, Facebook. You made the Facebook. Yeah, groupies. Century, doing so I got 2,200 hits within two hours. 22, wow. Wow. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. This is our time. The Social Network. Sharp sponsor ITV's coverage of England. Sharp, this is why. Tonight, Wembley Stadium hosts England's third match of eight, aimed at qualifying for the European Championships of 2012. There is most of a very plausible England side to be made out of those who are unavailable. But those still standing form some interesting partnerships at centre-half Nescott and Ferdinand begin an international together for the first time. The wide players Adam Johnson and Ashley Young are a new starting combination too. Up front Rooney and Crouch are reunited for the first time since the last desperate minutes against the USA and Algeria in the summer. 
The fullbacks are part of the furniture, though. Ashley Cole matches Kenny Sansom's 86 caps tonight, England's most picked left backs. Headline Montenegrin team news Mirko Vucinic, their captain and talisman, is out. He missed training last night. There was a supposition that he'd be fine now. Not so. Milorad Pekovic returns from suspension in midfield, and Branko Boscovic leads the team and the line. Extraordinarily, by the way, this 11 is drawn from eight different domestic leagues. A night when something must give. Two perfect records, each vulnerable to the other. The winners will head into winter on top of the group, and remember, only the team that finishes on top of the group is certain of its place at Euro 2012. I suppose it was normal and natural to assume that Montenegro would come out of the minnow's pot to be the swattable flyweights in this group when the draw was made. Subsequent events have proved that not so. No one has even scored against them yet. And it is uh, evidently a long way from a gimme, this, so should England be wary of it or certain enough in themselves to really attack this challenge? No, I think with the, with the last two performances, Peter, I think they should have enough confidence and slightly better feeling around the ground now. The supporters, I think, have generally forgotten about what happened a few months ago in the summer and looking forward now to a successful campaign. I like the look of the, and the shape and the dynamic of the England team, the two white boys, young and exciting, wanting to... Wanting to get uh, at the fullbacks, get inside. I think there's a uh, lot to be optimistic about tonight. Johnson from right back, and Rooney showing early, and Johnson involved early. Johnson faced by the standing captain, Boscovic. Gerard, who escaped from Liverpool at the moment, would be uh, no doubt relished. Cole, first area of the night. Playing opposite him is uh, the youngest player on the field, Savic at right back for Montenegro, perceived as a, a potential point of weakness. Ivanovic, Boscovic. Because of two, the two wide men, Peter, because Adam Johnson and Ashley Young will want to drive inside, they like to do that. That does, of course, give the option for Ashley Cole, who will be galloping forward. Glenn Johnson on the right hand side always wants to attack. Great for those guys as well to know that there is space to get in behind and really try and test the Montenegrins. The captain of England, Rio Ferdinand. Johnson darted in off his flank as he loves to do. So drawing a challenge from Milorad Pekovic. The referee tonight is German. He is Manuel Grafa, 37 year old Berliner. And it's a very big game for him. It is his first competitive senior international. Gerald back in the ranks, smashing of the ball, and the crouch was sliding in. And the merest touch would have established the lead for England. I think that smile says it. Oh, I think he knows he should score, Peter Crouch. Whether that's intended for Rooney, I'm not so sure. They're both making runs, but it's dropped invitingly for Peter Crouch. He's there. Those long legs are stretched. They should be getting something on the end of it. That's a big chance. That is a real chance. Crouch's first appearance in an England shirt since the last six minutes of... Uh, Dreadful goalless draw against uh, Algeria. And Ferdinand has uh, nicked it into the path of Jalovic. And by Cole. And by Rooney for Young. It's also interesting, Peter, about the dynamic of their side with no Vucinic now. Whether that mindset automatically just retreats that the Montenegrin team ten yards further back. Jalovic, whether he becomes isolated as opposed to having someone to maybe link with. Johnson. So Glenn Johnson looking to capitalise, Ivanovic did well. This is Boscovic, whose position at the start of the game bears out, Andy, what you were saying. We were led to believe that yeah. he would go up as a second striker. As it turns out, it looks very much like a five strong across midfield. Which for 10 or 15 minutes is... The opponents coming to Wembley, England looking a little bit more confident, is sensible. Basha from centre half. Pekovic. Ivanovic. That was uh, up with Novakovic. And there's 
so one of four players from Russian clubs. Pekovic in, Cole away, and now Young perhaps with the first chance of the night to really stretch his legs and worry the young fullback Savic. Ashley Young for England, look at who uh, feed it in for Rooney. Judovic, the uh, giant centre half, was in the path. Lucky. Again, Ashley Young there driving infield. He likes to do that a lot more. Rooney makes the run in behind the back four, very nearly finding him. His hand has been forced in several positions, probably Young's in truth. Sophia Walcott, no James Milner suspended for this game. Often seen that though, Peter, over the years, manages the hand is forced because of suspensions, injuries, and all of a sudden it gives him plenty to think about afterwards. Let's hope that's the way for Capello and England tonight. Glenn and Adam Johnson. Rooney from deep. On England duty with his club manager's absolute blessing. Finally for Gerard, came back from Crouch. There's Pekovic, Jalovic. Zveritic. Lescott was aware of Jalovic. Jenny Lescott, who has played his uh, last three England internationals with different centre-half partners, Jagielka, Upson and Terry. It's now four in four for him. He has also played for England alongside Sol Campbell and Wes Brown. Six different partners. And this is only his 11th cap. Really shaken off it by Vukcevic. Flood of red shirts in the middle of the park already. Putin see Gerard and Gareth Barry trying to fire them 30, 40 yarders either side to the two wide men. It's going to be difficult, got to be very accurate. Kind of looking to exchange with the young who draws a challenge from the teenage uh, fullback Savage. Jovanovic, picked off by Pekovic. Ferdinand is committed, here is Jalovic. Boskovic up alongside him. And Jalovic drags his shot. Well, it was a tackle that Rio Ferdinand had to make. He had to really commit to it. Exactly the full, full extent of that injury. We're not sure at the moment, but it's Adam Johnson driving infield. Glenn Johnson... Doesn't deal with that, and then you have to make that, you have to go flying through, and if necessary, take everything. They're lucky, England, that actually it's a poor shot in the end, and it all breaks down and fizzles out, but it's a pretty hefty old challenge there that Pekovic is on the end of. And tidy, potentially perilous moment for England in the uh, early moments of the game. Pekovic is OK. And that's something I think England have to guard against when... Adam Johnson and Ashley Young on the far side are driving infield. The temptation is always there for Glenn Johnson and Ashley Cole to look to get forward. And then that's where Rio Ferdinand and Jolien Lescott have to make sure Gareth Barry is there. So as if they get dragged out wide, they've got a bit of protection. Yeah, with a uh, far-reaching ball aimed at uh, Adam Johnson. Found by Boscovic. Ivanovic from left back. Off by Lescott. More confident touch from Ferdinand. Probing ball from Barry. Shifted wide by Rooney. Young has Cole beyond him. Ashley Young though has cut inside and had a go. It's what England want to see. Yeah, exactly. Again, as soon as Ashley Young receives that ball and Ashley Cole is looking to go around him, he wants good ball out from Rooney. Watch the fullback on his way. That gives Ashley Young the, the license to now drive in field. Anyone coming in like that, Peter, he's always want to get a shot away. All right, way off target. But food for thought for the Montenegrins. They can see Ashley Cole flying forward as well as Young driving infield. That's good play. A pair of Ashley's on the left for England and a pair of Johnson's on the right. And width will be important. Here's Gerrard from the middle. running up 
Basha, Novanovic eased it up the line, Boscovic. Boscovic from Barry. Jalovic. Boscovic. Novakovic. Boscovic again. Vuchkovic. A convincing strike from one of the players who's closer the most to being stellar in uh, Zlatko Kranchar's side. You recognize the name, of course. He is a Croatian. His son Nico plays for Tottenham. It's his second visit to Wembley. The first was to watch Nico play for Pompey in the cup final a couple of years ago. And we hardly need reminding that Nico was one of the scorers for Croatia. That awful, sodden night one uh, midweek November evening. And England were beaten here and uh, didn't qualify for the last European Championships. England haven't lost here at Wembley since then. Judovic with uh, a rather desperate clearance, Young can keep it in. Savage at his back, it was uh, a smart idea to play the reverse pass for uh, Ashley Young. Hands his back off Barry. And finally lands at the feet of Crouch, who's played it behind Johnson. And there is an escape route for Jovanovic. And then Pekovic, who's given it straight back to Glenn Johnson. And Djurjevic was lucky just now, Peter. I'm not sure if he was totally aware of like when Rooney was in and around him. As you said, he just hooked it clear into absolutely nowhere. Djurjevic has uh, got away from Young and Cole. This is well for England that Gerard was on sentry duty in front of a back four that had been reduced to three. Yeah. They're neat and tidy, you can already see that in the middle of the park. They're prepared to go one touch and look to get an extra man running through. So I think England have to be very careful, very careful. Adam Johnson, that's better. Away from Jovanovic, across comes Basha. Johnson's nicked it from him too, and won a corner, good work. Even though it always looks like he's going to drive inside, he just keeps you guessing. He just might go on the outside, Pete, now and again, which is a great skill to have. Just when you think he's going to go inside, he's prepared to go on the outside as well. Good work, Adam Johnson. Mascot and Ferdinand up from the back. Crouch entered the six-yard box, really near the penalty spot. German uh, referee wants a word with uh, Judovic, who is inclined to have flailing limbs, let me warn you. He's a tough so-and-so, it's uh, Adam Johnson's delivery, Savage away from in front of the near post. Johnson, clever again, another corner. Great touch as well there when he just pulls that down, Johnson. Didn't stand the cross up, but Djurjevic is all over Peter Crouch in the middle of that six-yard box. He's grabbing him, he's hanging on to him. He's desperate not to let Crouch get half a yard on him. Gerrard. His goalkeeper is uh, Maladin. Bozovic, who plays his football in Hungary with uh, Videoton. National break did get away a couple of consecutive games for Manchester United. Steered forward by Jordan, it's a beautifully shaped ball. That wasn't quite there. Great ball, great idea again from Steven Gerrard. The 30 40 yard ball, he's onside. Ashley Young at the top of the screen, you can see there, and that is only just out of his reach. A little bit square and a little bit static at the back. Montenegro already, we've seen. Crouch nearly get in, Rooney once or twice, Ashley Young on that occasion. Great ball. First quarter of an hour or so without great event, but 
The picture is uh, fairly clear and not unexpected. It, it would appear to be a challenge well within England's compass. They've had the vast majority of the ball. The wide players have uh, been as we hoped. Key in the early moments. Uh, statistical evidence of what I'm saying 70% England possession Montenegro's results coming into this a 2-0 friendly win against Northern Ireland 1-0 against Wales 1-0 in Bulgaria 1-0 against Switzerland on Friday night and efficient if nothing else mm. but if uh, if you are joining us a little late, then Bears repeating their headline team news is that their number one superstar, Mirko Vucinic, is missing this evening. Peter Crouch has been down by Big Judovic. Yeah. So desperate Judovic to impose himself on Crouch. It's a silly foul, an unnecessary foul to give away. Crouch is always favourite for that ball. He can't get that close, he can't win it. Vice captain is behind the free kick. Stephen Gerrard. Maybe a couple of memorable Wembley goals for him this season. Just turned around that twitchy post World Cup friendly. It's around Glenn Johnson. And Glenn Johnson is delivered and Crouch is headed over. Simple set play there, but very effective. The angle that Steven Gerrard was shaping up on that ball always looked pretty acute for a shot. Fires it out to Glenn Johnson. Crouch has now peeled back into the six-yard box. It's not the most convincing header. Not that much pace on the delivery. Sometimes makes it a little bit more difficult for the striker. I think he'll be feeling he should have made, a, made the goalkeeper at least get his hands dirty on that one. Yeah, Shade irritated himself, a man who has been quite open about the fact that he wants to make his point in this international. Subject of strikers and uh, absentees. I have to feel an awful lot of sympathy, I think, this week. Andy, don't you, for Darren Bent, whose yeah. moments seem to have come. He's missing. Jermaine Defoe's missing. Peter Crouch, opportunity not for him in their absence, but real shame for Darren Bent, who Certainly. seemed to be ready and accepted. He's played very well for his club. He's looked sharp and lively and got himself a good goal, of course, against Switzerland. Yes, disappointment for him. Crouch couldn't offload for uh, Young, but Barry's got it back for England. And here is Ashley Cole. Strange one for Lescott tonight as well, knowing that Capello has made that statement before the game about the Rio Ferdinand and John Terry, definite one and two at the back. You know, for guys that are trying to get the game, and if they do well, not always the message you want to hear. against uh, Adam Johnson but as Fabio Capello made clear in terms of the captaincy yesterday his rules are his rules and once he has uh, established them they're not really for breaking and he's got his first choice captain and he's got his first choice center halves until something happens to alter that situation that is simply how it will be Jalovic Anything fired into Crouch and Rooney already, we've seen there's a lot of red shirts around them. If the touch isn't perfect, they're picking the ball up. And as I said, they're one touch players, very good, very accurate in and around their own half and just across the halfway line. It's whether they really possess the, the ambition, Peter, to really look to get in behind England when they get the chance. Charles ball was seen by Savic, Judovic, Pekovic. Vukcevic. Good technically, you can tell. Very, very good. Chaps are making uh, the correct historical point just before uh, we began the commentary that, of course, they are the uh, follow-on from Serbia and Montenegro and, uh, in turn, the follow-on from Yugoslavia. It's a passionate football part of the world. I think it's probably safe to say there might be one or two who would dispute this but it's probably safe to say that 
if Montenegro were still in bed with Serbia, none of these would be playing international football. Vukcevic from Sporting Lisbon might be different. Vucinic, who isn't playing tonight, probably would be. Yeah. But if you look at the club sides they represent, and think in terms of the Serbs, Vidic at Manchester United, Ivanovic, Chelsea, Kolarov, Manchester City, Jovanovic, Liverpool, Stankovic, Inter, Krasic, Juventus. There are uh, an awful lot more big-name players. Montenegro, a nation of just 650,000 people. But it only takes 11 to make a team. Trip on Rooney. He's taking the free kick quickly. Johnson. And in again at Crouch. And to clawed out by Bozovic. Ferdinand, Rudy. Front wide by Rudy towards Glenn Johnson. Seen by Jovanovic. Yeah, it's difficult, those 40 yarders cross field is. They're going to get picked off from time to time. England have to try and mix that up a little bit. Of course, they want to change the play as quick as they can to get the opposite full back in, maybe with, with half a chance to really get to the byline, but. Got to make sure they mix it up, otherwise it'll get picked off. Gerard. Down by Crouch. Only right by Rooney. Adam for Glenn Johnson. Barry. Gerard. Only by Basha. No, it's not easy. It's going to be a. Got to be patient in possession, of course, but yeah, I'm sure he is getting just a tad frustrated. He'd like to see a little bit more. It's immediately evident why Montenegro are yet to concede a goal in European Championship qualifying. They're looking mean. Really wants to run away from Basha, whose uh, tackle was sturdy. It's a chance there for Wayne, really. When you, get, when you get in behind Pekovic and Zveritic, you've then got to... Got to run at that back four and commit people. That position there where Wayne Rooney really just lost the ball is exactly where they've got to try and find him on more of a regular basis. Crouch. Barry for Gerard. Ferdinand has seen Young. It's a smashing pass. Cole has gone beyond it. Ashley Cole for England. Pozovic looks insecure. Yeah. He just flapped at that cross, didn't he? That big deep cross to Peter Crouch a moment or two ago. He just managed to gather that. It's a great change of play again. Big change from Rio Ferdinand. Ashley Cole makes another terrific run. I just wonder maybe if he could have got a Djurjevic there. Just wonder if he could have actually took him on, maybe committed him, got to the byline and then maybe try and fire something across the box. Instinctively nodded out by Glenn Johnson. Here's Gareth Barry. Only crouches forward for England. It's a waste, it's a giveaway. Actually, that may be another way. That I think if England are clever, a bit more crafty and cunning with the counter attack, I think the more they invite Montenegro to attack, I think if they're, as I said, quite cute with it, I think they can uh, counter attack very quickly against this side. this myself Peter before many times where you're, you're, you're pushing you're pushing you have the lion's share of possession and the opposition can't really get out it's difficult to actually find space and room to get in behind them sometimes you have to let them breathe a little bit and come at you with the ball Novakovic, Poskovic, 
Pasha. Jovic, Barry got a toe in. Rooney with uh, Ashley Young wide of him. Young to run at Savage. Clear of Savage. And then fell by Judovic as he entered the penalty area. Right on the cusp. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. Montenegro are trying to thread little balls in and around England's last third. England counter-attack quickly. Rooney finds Ashley Young. And that's a poor challenge, worthy of a yellow card. Half a step more and Ashley Young would have found himself in that box. That would have been a penalty. But that's a good counter-attack, a far more positive sort of move. Let me tell you, it's not the worst challenge he's made in this European Championship qualifying. He had an elbow horribly close to James Collins in the Wales game at the start of the campaign. That boy will do what it takes. But he's given away a free kick to England right on the edge of the penalty area. Well, having seen the goalkeeper, Peter, already flap a one or two. He'd be wanting to fizz this right across him. Get them white shirts running across the line of the ball. See what he's made of. Ashley Young for England. Needed a touch. That's the wrong option for me there. I think Ashley Young needs to be flying that goal bound. Far post, he needs to be looking to try and curl that right in the far corner. Whether it's direct, indirect, whatever. I think he's trying to look for runners there rather than absolute, actually have a shot from there. As much pace as you can, and whip as you can generate on that and get people running across the front of it. Any nick and it can be in the back of the net. Yeah, you feel he would have done for Aston Villa. Yep. Poskovic, Novakovic, Pekovic. Not by Ferdinand to uh, Pekovic again, who's kept it from Barry. Johnson stopped it getting through to Novakovic. Zveritic. Little or nothing to uh, concern Joe Hart to this point in the game. Barry. Talking about that Welsh game at the start of the group, there were points in that game when Wales were dominating Montenegro. Yeah. They have a method, though. They'll sit deep in their own half, they'll let you have the ball. Gentle pressing, no one's really over committed, no one's lunging into silly tackles in, apart from the one we've seen from the centre half. Everyone else, particularly in the middle of the park, staying on their feet. Tracking runners and just making it very difficult for England to find any sort of way through. Well, by uh, Vukcevic on uh, Rooney as the band strikes out for the first time on the night. 75,000 in this evening, they expect. Crouch won his header. Johnson nicked it on, Zveritic away. <laughs> Foul by uh, Lescott at the back of Jalovic. Yeah. Playing uh, the majority of his club football at left back, of course, uh, Julian Lescott. For uh, Manchester City this season. He's played centre half just once in a Europa League tie. Ivanovic ended at Jalovic to call Kamri Krishni for Hart. Johnson. Here is Ivanovic and then uh, trodden all over from behind by Boscovic. Adam Johnson, if he can, I know he's very effective when he drives infield, but he is running into lots of red shirts. All right, he's drawn the free kick there, chance for them to give Crouch something to attack, but again, must mix it up, must look to go down the outside, go at Jovanovic on his, on his left foot a little bit more as well. Trying to 
referee forcing uh, Adam Johnson to retreat. Here's Glenn Johnson. It's asking an awful lot of Ashley Young. But, uh, Savage felt it necessary to uh, head it out. It is an England throw. Ashley Cole, Barry. And as far as uh, Gerard, who couldn't take it in his stride. Ivanovic, Pekovic. And Johnson has it back. Barry, Rudy, who has been being urged further forward from the bench by uh, Fabio Capello. So it struck me a couple of times in the early part of the game how withdrawn Wayne Rudy has been at times. Well, he's dropping deeper and deeper because. He's trying to find a little bit of room, he's trying to offer himself, as you can see in the area he's in there now. He's just trying to find a little pocket of space to maybe receive the ball. And there is a danger when you drop deeper and deeper and deeper. Yes, you can receive it, but then all of a sudden you look up and you can see eight or nine red shirts in front of you. He's got to try and get in behind their two central midfield players in a clever little pocket there to receive it and then start running at Djurjevic and Basha, who I'm not sure are the best, Peter. Johnson got away from Jovanovic. He's in behind now for England, Adam Johnson. And he couldn't get beyond the near post. Basher, the key defender. Gerald with a trip on Jovanovic. Right under the nose of uh, the German assistant. Yep. The reaction from Gerard says it was maybe a bit of a dive, but better, Peter. Look, going, mixing it up, going around the outside of Jovanovic there. Just unfortunate that Adam Johnson can't really find anybody with the cutback, but much better. Was this a foul? Steven Gerrard didn't think so. He's had a little clip, but I doubt there's any touch there at all. Marks out of 10 for the dive. And that is frustrating, because when you're pushing and pressurising teams, and you feel they get a cheap free kick, free kick, of course it gives them a chance to just release the pressure and get themselves set and get organised once more. And all of a sudden you get possession as they are now. You're looking up and there's another 10 shirts you've got to get through. Forward by Cole. Basher up with Crouch. England's free kick. I'll take that one, Peter Crouch. I'm not sure how much Basher really impedes in there, but referee thinks so. Again, long way out for the direct hit from someone like Gerard or Adam Johnson. If they're going to hit it, then make sure the white shirts are following in. I said earlier, the goalkeeper doesn't look the most convincing in the early first half an hour. So he might well palm something back out, get on the end of it if he does. Suit the left foot of uh, Adam Johnson, which doesn't mean that there is no interest. Stephen Gerrard in his right. It is uh, Johnson who hits it. With a fair bit of fizz. Good strike. It's a good hit. It wasn't the greatest, longest of run-ups. Far from it. It's a good hit. It's got the goalkeeper scrambling. He's panicking as that ball flies over the top of the wall. He knows that is going pretty close. Adam it's Johnson a... is a man who has scored in his uh, last two games for his club against Juventus and Newcastle, and the last two games for his country against Bulgaria and Switzerland. There will be a uh, few English footballers anywhere enjoying their game quite as he is right now. Pekovic wanted to uh, put the ball out there because uh, Novakovic needs treatment. It's just uh, an opportunity to point you at a very special football match. We're bringing you on uh, ITV1 next Wednesday in the uh, Champions League. It is Inter Milan against Tottenham. Half past seven on this channel, the uh, build-up to it on ITV4 from seven o'clock. That sounds to me like a very sexy football match indeed. ITV1 next Wednesday evening. Incidentally, the highlights of this game will be uh, also on this channel at 10.45 this evening. And you might be interested in uh, having a look at our website, itv.com slash football, which will have a fresh podcast for your delectation by this time tomorrow. Not sure what 
sort of injury actually. Novakovic sustained there. Whether on landing he's just rattled his knee a little bit, I'm not sure. But again, it gives Montenegro a chance to just frustrate Capello and the England players just a little bit more. This he'll time last year he was a genius. Yeah, he'll know that the, the team tonight needs to just up the tempo a little bit more if they can. But it is difficult. It's not easy. And you can you can get easily carried away when the crowd start getting a bit frustrated and start bombing forward here, there and everywhere and all of a sudden leaving yourself very vulnerable to a counter. It's exactly what they want you to do. Just saw him in conversation there with Ashley Young. Andy, I wonder whether he would contemplate having Young and Johnson swap sides and, and play on the right side. I know they're very more than familiar with, as it were, cutting in and using the wrong yeah. foot, but is it, is it an option that would be conceivable? Absolutely an option. Nothing wrong with that at all, having five or ten minutes just to flip the two white men over and see how they get on. No problem with that whatsoever. That does perhaps stifle a little bit Glenn Johnson and Ashley Cole in terms of getting forward. But, again, it's that sort of variation on nights like tonight when it's difficult and, and you're up against a, a side that's technically good and well drilled. Sometimes you've got to just have the, those little five-minute spells where you're changing it, trying to give them something more to think about. Ashley Young did well to keep that for England, but uh, Ralph Barry has given it back. This time last year, Fabio Capello was a genius. It was obviously in this international slot that uh, England completed their World Cup qualifying campaign with a flourish. It's to Belarus. A bit of water has gone uh, under the bridge since then, but uh, it's been a rehabilitative autumn up to now, upon which uh, England would really like to build now so that they can head into winter on top of this qualifying group. Ferdinand sweeping it forward in search of Crouch. It's the last ten minutes of the first half now. And there is nothing to show. Trying something smart. Sure didn't come off. And they're looking very comfortable at the moment, the opposition. I think they've only actually, the, the Montenegro and back four have only hit the halfway line probably once, twice in the entire 45 minutes. They feel very comfortable defending pretty deep and just letting England have possession where Ashley Cole is now. And yes, he knows he's going to roll it into Gerard, but those midfield players aren't really going to come and pressure that much. They're just going to sit and wait. Now Barry has it. And England do look a little bit predictable when they're in this sort of situation. Cole Young. Nice stop. Cole. No room for manoeuvre for no. Ashley Cole and uh, Ashley Young. It's very, very tight the way that... And, and you know, Ashley Cole is trying to clip something into Ashley Young there in, in, over the space of seven or eight yards. Very, very tight and difficult. It's got to be a bit more snappy with the passing. Better care taken from Crouch and perhaps Rooney up front, drop back to midfield players, then out wide, and then that's when England look a better, a better outfit. Savage with the uh, Montenegrin throat. Let's go. Well, couldn't help it on. Jovanovic away. 
Picked off by Lescott. A bit more space for Crouch now. But, uh, missed at the help of Glenn Johnson. And now Barry. And he can't find Gerrard. And uh, what momentum England had. They don't have any more. No, the snap has gone out of the passing. It's got a little bit ragged and players are forcing it now, trying a little bit too hard in that situation there. It was Gareth Barry. He's not the only one. Negrins came into this, their first European Championship qualifying campaign, having won, in fact, only one competitive game in their short life before against Georgia. Here is uh, Ashley Young threatening them again. Petrovic back to uh, snuff out his threat. Lescott wants it back. Boscovic has it. And here's Ferdinand. Gerard. Barry. by Basha. To their credit, Novakovic and Vucevic have worked very hard to double back, realising that England do have a lot of energy in the wider areas with the full-backs and the, and the wingers. They're certainly doing their job defensively for the team, making it difficult. That one by Crouch for Rooney. Just in front of Crouch, and smothered away by Savic. Lucky, that was a bit of route one up to Crouch there. Little flick on Rooney for a split second, thought about maybe having the shot. It was a tight angle. Cole. That's the first half being played almost entirely in one half of the field, but uh, not sufficiently within the uh, attacking part of that half. Forward by Ferdinand, on by Crouch, really can't twist. I do think that ball from Rio Ferdinand's side to Peter Crouch when he peels across the other way, the other side of the 18-yard box, I think that is a, a better option for England if they're going to go long. Basha seems to compete better with Peter Crouch as opposed to to Djurjevic. Vukcevic. Tempo of the game suits the opposition, I think. When you're playing against a 4-5-1, and if it's slow and, you know, the cent central midfield players there, Barry and Gerrard, are going back very deep to get the ball now. Sometimes you've got to let... Let, let other guys behind you do the work, let them drag the ball up a little bit. Ferdinand is more than capable of carrying the ball a little bit higher up the pitch and maybe trying to just drag one or two of the red, red shirts out a little bit. Ashley Young. Barry. Gerrard. Rudy. Thanks the one way, the ball the other. the right idea, Peter, it's just a little bit static again. I think Rooney's looking at Adam Johnson, go on, make a run. It's not instinctive, there's no sort of... It's not flowing at all at the moment, is it? It's just gone a bit stop-start and... Well, they haven't been sure the goals this autumn. Nine in the uh, three games prior to this one since the World Cup. of one in uh, the first half so far. Here's Glenn Johnson exchanging with uh, Adam Johnson. The fullback goes over and receives no uh, sympathy from the German officials. Ivanovic. Certainly looked like a foul and Ivanovic is actually limping as if there was some contact with Glenn Johnson. Flung wide by Barry, but uh, Jovanovic is there ahead of uh, Adam Johnson. Barry. Which couldn't get airborne. Yeah. Well, Wayne Rooney, I think, is uh, asking after this little event. He's actually, to be fair to Jovanovic, he's only just brushed. Glenn Johnson's hit, there's not a lot of contact. Whether or not Johnson could have got on the end of that ball, 
it wasn't enough contact, I don't think, actually, for a free kick. And then just after that, we've seen Gareth Barry trying to clip something into Peter Crouch. And that is always a temptation for England when it gets difficult, when they're getting frustrated. Tends to, tend to then start looking a little bit too long, too soon. Gerard for England. And Adam Johnson. Maybe we'll nick it through for Crouch, but it's, uh, it's just not happening at the moment. Sveritic. Further down the way. So it's uh, Vukcevic, protection from Barry. Cole. Ashley Young. Heading into uh, just a minute stoppage time. Bit pedestrian. Yeah, it's been flat, Peter. It has, particularly the last 20 minutes. I think it started. Started okay. The two wide boys were getting enough of the ball. Fullbacks were looking to get beyond. If you remember once or twice, Ashley Cole got into some good situations. Crouch had that half a chance, perhaps very early on. For the last 20 odd minutes, they've looked very comfortable. And Capello's got plenty to think about here. Gerard Johnson. Just about time to get a ball into the box if uh, England are inclined. Gerard. Now that is a good ball, and Johnson is in behind for England. But Rooney! No. Hint of a hand in there, actually, but uh, the referee was, I think, right to play on. Rooney dispatched a shot, and it came to nothing. Just wonder if Glenn Johnson could have gone on his own there, Peter. It's a great play, good play from Gerard to find him. Uh, moderately uplift again to uh, a rather flat first half for Fabio Capello and England. They began OK, there was uh, a jink or two from Johnson down one flank, supported by fullback Johnson and indeed by Young down the other. Crouch had a header over, but that is as close as England have come. And at half time at Wembley, the score remains England nil, Montenegro nil. Four. Second half's about to start. Let's go back to our commentary team. Andy Townsend alongside Peter Drury. Yes, Adrian, that uh, goalless draw for the under-21s was uh, good news. They're into the finals next summer, as you say. And uh, actually, that result also means that coming into this game, it is still the case that no England international team has lost yet this season. There have been 30 games before this one. Senior, under-21, women's, women's under-23, all the way down. England haven't lost a game yet this season. Ten years ago in, uh, at this point, October ten years ago was the last game England played at uh, Old Wembley. Another fact that might encourage is that since they moved into New Wembley, England have never failed to score in an international on this ground. Somehow they've got to find a way to score a goal in the second half now. In by Savage and uh, out by Lescott. Moved on uh, by Zveritic. Came to Boscovic. In by Jovanovic. And away by Glenn Johnson. So, Andy, uh, how do they go about scoring that goal? Well, again, it's it's not easy. It is difficult, of course, when we know that they're sitting so many shirts behind the ball. The situation that Rio Ferdinand finds himself in now. And Gareth said at half-time, I agree with him totally. He's got to try and step up a little bit further with the ball. That will drive Barry and Gerard further up. That will, in turn, send Rooney a little bit further forward. And they're going to need to be very accurate when the ball's fizzed into people's feet. Take good care of it, and then look to get it in the wider areas. At the moment, it's all too comfortable. The tempo of the game is too slow, and that has to certainly be raised. Ashley Young has earned and taken England's first attacking free kick of the second half. Crouch has won it aerially. Strength clearance by Zveritic, down by Barry for Rooney. Barry again. Squeezed out to Young. Couch is uh, grappling for a bit of space and is penalised. 
Yeah, Peter Crouch disappointed there that that one goes against him. Gareth Barry actually very nearly get himself into a decent situation where he could have had a shot. There's Crouch at the back post. He's trying to wriggle free from Jovanovic. And in the end, he feels that he's been unfairly done by there, but it's probably about right, in my opinion. Jalovic. Taken away again by Barry. Johnson. That's what they want to see. Taking on the fullback, Ivanovic, who uh, simply came across and cut him off at the pass. Surprised the referee's not going over there and having a word with Jovanovic there. There's no intent at all to play the ball. He's just running Adam Johnson out there, deliberately checks him. I think that's where the referee's entitled to go over and say, right, that's your lot on that score. Adam Johnson. Really, Crouch. Young. Savage. This time he started a competitive international, uh, Ashley Young. Each of his first nine caps came as uh, a substitute. Gerard found Rooney, and Rooney went for goal. And we need to be ambitious. And better. It's a long way out for Wayne Mooney. He sees Glenn Johnson out wide, then dips back inside. Could maybe have took it forward another pace before hitting it, really getting out of his feet, giving himself an opportunity to not only hit it hard, but keep it down. Hasn't seen sorry. enough of him, Peter, sorry, in the first 45 minutes. Wayne Mooney again. This has played uh, three games for Manchester United, Wayne Mooney, since scoring for England in Basel. And, uh, Hasn't scored in any of those three games, missed the last couple. Seen by Gerrard, moved on for Crouch, Gerrard. Bit of oomph about England perhaps now. Adam Johnson. Glenn Johnson has dashed up alongside him from fullback. Adam Johnson. Gerrard. Faced by Ivanovic. Gerrard whips it in. Goalkeeper was momentarily in no man's land, but there was no one in a white shirt to capitalise. It's unlucky, it's the right idea, Stephen Gerrard. You think he's going to whip it left foot, takes it back onto the right, fires it across. Again, Ashley Young and Wayne Rooney just standing, waiting for something, maybe just take a chance. You never know, if that's a foot lower, you might get a head on it, but better. When England won possession in the middle of the park there, they countered quicker. Novakovic. Janovic, Pekovic. It's a Janovic. It's without really paint any doomsday scenarios, it only takes a, a yeah. second at the other end. Oh, it does, certainly. It Lescott, becomes a really horrid night. Lescott and Rio Ferdinand have to be very focused and alive. As much as I've said they need to do this, that's better. It's much better from Ferdinand. Ferdinand with a terrific adventure. But without the sympathy of the referee, so it's a good thing Cole got there. He might have been fouled as well. Crouch is playing on, and eventually the referee uh, brings things to a halt, and England have a free kick. Yeah, Rooney's complaining there is. It can be a nasty one, that, for Ashley Cole. But again, that all, that all stemmed from Rio Ferdinand stepping out with the ball, actually. He ran into a little bit of a cul-de-sac, but then drew red shirts in and around the ball. All of a sudden, it gives room to other people. I think Rooney's complaining there, the referee's saying, look, what more are you going to do? It's not good enough to just keep on allowing these players to maybe get away with it. Savage has been booked. Cole is on his feet. Three in the Montenegrin wall. And a young behind the ball for England with Rooney. Ashley Cole's still not moving quite right. Just uh, hopping away, feeling mm. a little sorry for himself. Hope he's okay. Rooney has 
left it for Ashley Young. And a straight free kick. Ashley Cole, Adam Johnson. Rooney's up. Judovic with the odd header. Barry back in there. And Judovic away. Pekovic. Barry wouldn't let him rest. Adam Johnson has it back. He worked uh, by England until uh, Barry yielded possession a little cheaply. And that's a foul by Rooney, for which he's going to be booked. Yeah, can't have any complaints about that. He's just been in the referee's face a few moments ago, moaning about outstretched legs and how much it disrupts England's play, so he knew he's always going to take a yellow card there. It's a sloppy ball, by the way, from Gareth Barry. That all started there. We know that Rooney will put his head down and motor back at a rate of knots. I'm afraid that's a, a blatant foul and a, a definite yellow card. And as a result of it, a moment of uh, potential danger for England. They haven't had a whole lot of defending to do, but it's an opportunity for uh, Vukcevic, who is a useful user of a dead ball, to uh, deliver now. A sporting Lisbon player. And by Vukcevic. Trouch is defending, came out to Jovanovic, whistle went. Yeah, decent ball clipped in, of course, Peter Crouch always favourite there, good enough, the header. With, uh, Bash's arms flying all around him. Mm. Barry. Cole. Barry aimed at Crouch and down for Rooney, flags up. Flag is up, wouldn't have counted. Got away from Wayne Rooney anyway. Lucky combination between Crouch and Rooney. It's a decent ball whipped in from Gareth Barry. Was the time Peter Crouch it is, who's just a yard offside, just as that ball is delivered. And Crouch has scored seven goals in his last five Wembley appearances for England. It generally happens for him here. The last you might recall was uh, against Mexico just before the World Cup, which he bundled in with his hand, got away with it. It was uh, the ugliest goal you would ever see, but he would settle for anything like that now. By Judovic. Just got clear of Jalovic. By Barry, free kick given against him, and, uh, taken with a moving ball. Oh. Out by Stephen Gerrard. Crouch for Barry, and now Crouch uh, has been whistled against. Vukcevic. Time for, uh, I say time for Rooney to turn. He does yeah. turn now. He could have turned before that, Peter. That's Crouch. Good clean tackle out right, from Basher. I was going to say it's a little lack of confidence there that you see when Rooney receiving that. A fit and sharp and a live Wayne Rooney there would be turning and running at people immediately. Rakovic. Going out Ashley Cole. Well, Kevin Davis might well be uh, favoured to get a first England cap here tonight as uh, Fabio Capello looks to do something different. Sean Wright Phillips offers a wide alternative. Here's Ashley Young, and he's gone flying over the challenge of Basher, and Basher is in the book. Again, they stop the game, Peter, they break it up, they get a chance to recover. That's what the England players have been complaining to the referee about. Definite foul, of course, it is from Basher. Good run again from Ashley Young. Excellent ball from Steven Gerrard. Has to hurdle, otherwise he knows he's going to get... He's going to get six studs on his shin. There's three Montenegrins in the book, plus Wayne Rooney for England. Rooney is conspiring with Adam Johnson over the England free kick. Plum centre, he needs something to happen. 
Johnson's gone for goal and uh, cleared it. It's a long way out that one again. For Adam Johnson, he tries to drill that right off the off the laces. Might have been better to go down the road he did in the first half, the one when he's whipping it, trying to get it up and down, bouncing in front of the goalkeeper. It is a quick surface. How and when, Andy, would you be uh, tempted to dip into the England well, bench? He'll be thinking about it, Peter, he will, because he won't want it to go flat, he won't want it to get ragged. If he feels that they're growing in influence, then he might have to change it. Janovic has a goal in him, Vukovic as well. Scooped out by uh, Ferdinand. Welcomed in by Young. Here's Barry. In the lead driving here. Ben Johnson, Adam Johnson. Teasing Jovanovic, feeding Gerard. Gerard through for Wayne Rooney. And Crouch. Goalkeeper's done well, Bozovic. It's good football. It's the best piece of football England have produced all night. Another good teasing run from Adam Johnson, smart run from Wayne Rooney, and another pinpoint accurate ball from Steven Gerrard. And if we said the goalkeeper was flapping a little bit in the first half, he did very well there, he got there, he spread himself, Bozovic, and a big hand and recovery. He's disappointed with that, because any, anything here just to break this deadlock, Peter, and you'll see the nature of the game change completely. And the nerve had a sniff at goal. It's the goalkeeper who, by the way, is uh, two-thirds of the way here to a fifth consecutive international clean sheet. Gerard, Rooney. That's a lovely ball for Young. And he's kept it alive. And he's clear of Savic. Oh. And he's got over Judovic. And the referee has ordered him to get up and get on with it. And he's got to show him a yellow card. Tell you what, he did ever so well, Ashley Young, to keep it in and then keep going. All right. It's nothing, no sort of challenge from Djurjevic. It's just whether you think Ashley Young is already looking... Well, he's looking to avoid it. I've seen penalties given for a lot, lot less than that. I think a yellow card is outrageous on him, I really do. Card it is for Aston Villa's Ashley Young. Fifth booking of the game. Gerard. Rooney. Gerard. It is starting to open up now. Yeah. And they're finding a little bit of the impetus that they had in the very early part of the game. But there is the uh, ever present threat of the counter attack. Boscovic. Ferdinand away. It's better. Good defending from Rio Ferdinand, as we we're asking them to do in this situation. They've got to be prepared at times. Ferdinand and Lescott to mark two on two and cope with it and deal with it. Really, what a pass. Young. Cole, much better from England. In by Ashley Cole. Oh. And, uh, yeah. away. Good play again. A much better switch of the play and the little interplay between Young and Cole was an awful lot better, but the delivery was poor. Change now for uh, Montenegro. Mita Novakovic is uh, being withdrawn, and uh, on in his place is uh, Maladin Kastelan, who plays his uh, football in Poland. Prior to uh, playing in Poland, he was in the Ukraine to host nations of uh, Euro 2012, to which we are uh, all aspiring here. Young, oh, Cole couldn't take it. Right idea, Peter, definitely. You feel a lot better about himself, Capello, and his team the last ten minutes. Certainly up the tempo a lot better. Again, his left side linking up very well. Interested to see now that substitution that they've just made, Cashelan coming on, whether or not it's a straight swap or a slightly different dynamic to the way that they've set up. He's gone into the middle of the park a little bit. 
was uh, competing with Barry, and uh, Barry has now been yellow carded. Doesn't take his eyes off the ball, in all fairness to Gareth Barry there. He's always focused on it. The arm is leading a little bit, but he's got the big run there. And whilst all these yellow cards are being shown, it's perhaps a uh, good time to advise you that Ashley Cole is the only one in the England team who, were he to be booked tonight, would be uh, suspended for the next competitive game, which is in Cardiff next spring. He's OK at the moment. Three England players are in the book, three from Montenegro as well. Was free kick. Good header away by Cole. Young. Well, Catchland caught him from behind, and well, he's going to have to be booked for that too. Yeah. It's a great run, that is. A terrific run to really drive at the opposition like Ashley Young does there. It's that challenge again. Catchland's never quite getting there. He's only looking to really just break the move up. Take a yellow card if need be. Been on the field. Uh, minutes also two. Nice free kill. That's a terrible waste. A terrible waste. It's a terrible grimace. Inside the last half hour now for uh, England fans of a match against uh, a country ranked 40th in the world, just behind Burkina Faso. It's the country with a population of 650,000 as opposed to England's 51 million. So whatever you say about the technical excellence of the 11 they have out there, it's hard to deny that as an England supporter, you're entitled to expect to win this game. Of course you are. Yeah. I think Gary Lewin there's trying to get some boots on for, for Ashley Young. In terms of changes, Peter, when you've got the likes of, of Stuart Downing and Sean White Phillips, would you change them for either of the wide men at the moment? I don't think so. They still look like they've got plenty of running in them. The obvious change really is Kevin Davis. You want to try and bring on something a bit different to add a different dynamic. But... Shot from uh, Zveritic from a very long way out. was uh, never a real threat to Joe Hart's goal. Flown uh, forward by Ferdinand, one by Crouch. Vukcevic and uh, Ashley Cole has committed a foul for which mercifully he hasn't been booked. Yeah. Ashley Young and Adam Johnson have first uh, swapped sides. I, th I think it's, it's as much to do with <laughs> yeah. Ashley Young getting a new pair of boots as uh, any tactical nuance. If it came off, there's Gerard Johnson. Boscovich. Sveritic. Judovic. as far as Crouch, who was flattened. Chudovic is quick to run away, and he's one of those in the book. Fabulous noise and uh, colour from the Montenegro supporters. We're about 1,100 miles from uh, Podgorica here, down on the Adriatic coast. 2,000 supporters have come. About 1,000 of them, I understand, are English-based. The others have uh, travelled from south to north Europe. Crouch away from Jovanovic. Those 
big long arms was uh, holding back Ivanovic. Final score from the other game in this group being uh, played this evening has finished now. I'm afraid it doesn't get any better for Wales and poor Brian Flynn. It's finished uh, Switzerland 4, Wales 1. So to play tonight, Montenegro had nine points from three games, England six from two. Wales and Switzerland were the bottom two teams. Switzerland now have their first three points. Wales are stuck on nothing. If this game ends as it is now, Montenegro will remain top. England with a game in hand, three points behind. What it will do is, uh, should these two teams continue to be otherwise successful, put an awful lot of pressure on England's last game, which is in Podgorica next October. But uh, it's plenty to happen between now and then. Ferdinand's uh, run himself into a bit of peril. And Castellan has moved it on, and England are a bit light at the back now. Jalovic through the middle, Boscovic, seen importantly by Gerrard. England extremely lucky there that Boscovic chose completely the wrong option, decided to try and drag that one back, and subsequently Gerrard gets fouled. Fortunate there, Rio Ferdinand, but of course, yes, he does have to step out, he has got to look to play, but don't get caught on it. Johnson's run out of pitch. And uh, England are about to make a substitution of note. Causing them here to produce their oldest debutant since 38-year-old Leslie Compton in 1950. And in place of Peter Crouch, it is Kevin Davis of Bolton Wanderers. Not everyone's favourite footballer, but no one in football would tell you he is anything other than effective and brave, functional and hungry for goals. Absolutely right. And Basher and Djurjevic, the centre-halves, the Montenegrin centre-halves, they're about to find something a little bit different to deal with now. I hope Kevin Davis doesn't alter what he does, doesn't try to be anything else than what he does very well. And that's be physical, be strong get in the six-yard box and attack things. Look to get across the front of the goalkeeper. Thirty-three years old, six feet tall, strong as an ox. Yeah, he certainly is. And he deserves it, you know, he's played very well for his club over the years, he really has. He's got a far better all-round game, far more polished game now than he had before. Never been the most prolific, but it's not about that tonight for England. It's about offering something to this team right now that are in a little bit of a hole. They're getting a little bit bogged down, frustrated. He could be just the answer, Peter. Gerard. Oh, he couldn't bring it down. He really has uh, only one club goal so far this season. Kevin Davis has two. His one of those was uh, was a penalty. Scored incident against England's Ben Foster. Johnson. Davis bullied off it. Pekovic. Zveratic. And Jalovic. First ball in the Kevin Davis, he gets flattened. <laughs> that wasn't the point of the substitution, was it? Glenn Johnson, Wayne Rooney, here's Davis, first chance to shine, and Davis delivers. Oh, that's a good ball, and Zveritic has headed it away and behind. Dangerous looking cross, wasn't it? You'd like to have been on the end of that, attacking that himself. Good little ball out from Rooney, the return ball back is decent. Oh, and I tell you, that's a, a good bit of work, work from Zveritic there to clear that. Kevin Davis will feel good about himself now. He's been joined by Rooney, by Ferdinand, by Lescott, Johnson's delivery. It was Barry attacking it. It's back in by Young and on by Rooney. And uh, into the goalkeeper's arms. Jalovic. Fitchovic, good tackle, Glenn Johnson. And 
good adventure from him. Adam Johnson. Aimed in at Rooney, who uh, steered a rather odd header a long way behind Kevin Davis. England can come again with Glenn Johnson. Davis. Rooney. Davis. Rooney! Good save. Ashley Young. Hung up by Young. Out by Basher. Gerrard! And Bozovic is behind that too. That's what you get with Kevin Davis there. Exactly what happens. His physical presence made a lot of that happen. That's the ball, the, the knockdown from Davis there. It's a bit scruffy, it's scrambling around. Look, it just drops for Rooney. It's a terrific save. It really is a good save. Aimed at Davis again. Yudovic for Basha. Tackle from Barry, free kick against him. And Sean Wright Phillips is ready to join us. Comes on in place of uh, Ashley Young, who had a moment or two. He was prepared to drive at his full back. Attempted to do what he was asked to do. Yeah. Uh, Phillips on to earn his uh, 36th international cap. Forward by Ferdinand. There's uh, Davis competing again. Judovic at his back. And then for Johnson. And now Gerard. Heading now into the last quarter of an hour of a home game, England have to expect to win. Ashley Cole. Rooney. Glenn Johnson. Adam Johnson, looking to tie up Ivanovic again. He doubles up with Boscovic, it's uh, Glenn Johnson who plays it in awkwardly with his wrong foot. And that reaction says it all, doesn't it? He's frustrated, they all are. The players are, are feeling it as well, the supporters, look. Just have the odd five minutes where you think it's picking up, yeah, it's looking better, it's coming, the goal isn't far away, and then it... Drifts away again. So again, England have never failed to score at New Wembley. I have to give them a bit of credit, Peter. I know they've set up, they've been pretty negative, and they have broke the game up quite cleverly at times, but cynically as well. But the shape of their team has been good. It's been difficult to penetrate, it has. Adam Johnson. Well won by Gerrard, Johnson, Davis. Another nick it out for Adam Johnson, who uh, got helped over by Cashelan. Crazy foul for Cashelan to give away there. Adam Johnson running absolutely nowhere. Coming off the field, number 10. Montenegro are uh, taking off their primary centre forward, replacing him with uh, another striker, Andrea Delibasic, who uh, plays in the Spanish second division with Rio Vallecano. They had a good uh, season domestically so far, they're uh, third place in their league, but Spanish second division, I say again. Aimed in by Johnson, acrobatically out by uh, Bozovic. Ashley Cole. Oh, oh. a handball against the Jovanovic, who smuggled it guiltily out of the penalty area. That looked very, very close. He looked like he wasn't sure what to do with it, Jovanovic. Dangerously close to his arm from here. Right, Phillips. Just uh, 
Maybe resonates to the booze aimed at uh, a German referee and perhaps his assistant who would have been better placed to see that. Who uh, failed to acknowledge what seemed to most a handling offence by Ivanovic. Let's see. It looked like he was in two minds, but he wasn't really sure who was about it. Oh, it's handball. Oh. It's handball. Every day of the week, that's handball. That is handball. He wasn't sure who was in, in and around him. And he's very, very lucky to get away with that. And it's deliberate with a capital D. Oh, he, he's actually he, he's actually in two minds. He's going to let that go out maybe for a goal kick. And then the last minute, he's not sure who's around him, who's behind him. He sticks the arm out as a penalty. And for his assistant there, Marcus Hecker, who's uh, closest to the incident. And it ought to have been, from his perspective, unmissable. Well, by Ferdinand, on for Davis, in goes Rooney, across comes Basher. England have had a couple of shouts in the second half for a penalty, Ashley Young went over and was himself booked, but that is certainly the clearest of them. Yeah. It's not sure that we should look at things from an English perspective, but imagine what it is to be a Montenegrin supporter at the moment. Close to the end of the fourth game in a group mm. in which you were bottom seeds. They are looking at 10 points out of 12. Sean Wright Phillips. Adam Johnson. Mooney's exchange with Gerard. And in for Wright Phillips. And in for Adam Johnson. Just too heavy. There's a throw. Yeah, it's a better combination play. It's just heavy-handed the pass from Sean Wright Phillips in the end. Again, little gives it give and goes Gerard and Rooney into Sean Wright Phillips. He sees the run, it's the, exactly the right idea. He's just overcooked it. more than 10 minutes to score a goal otherwise there's just a little spanner in the works a complication in a group which looked as though it was going to be a formality <laughs> Gerard, who's uh, a moment to ponder wasn't appreciated by a Wembley crowd and we want to see an England goal quickly Driven it right, Phillips, who welcomed it in well. It's uh, Judovic towers above him. What a ball, Peter, again from Gerard. Arrow like precision to Sean Wright Phillips. 40 odd yards. It's just a fraction too high for him. Barry. Johnson. Bostovic, England's throw. Gerard couldn't get it back from Davis, but it does come to uh, Adam Johnson. And then to Glenn Johnson. Davis uh, hurling himself in as he does. An introduction to the centre half. You probably haven't met me. Yep, we see this every week. Kevin Davis. I mean, he hasn't led with his arm or anything. It's just a. He feels he's just putting an honest challenge there. Again, Pazanac this time hitting the floor once again just to run down the clock at this stage of the game. Ashley Cole. Business going to Wembley for an England international. It's been a memorable night to this point. Branko Boscovic has been uh, skippering the side and yields the armband to uh, Jovanovic as he wanders off to be replaced by uh, Fatos Becherai of uh, Dinamo Zagreb.
passed on to Pekovic. Savic. Kashalan. Vukcevic. Savic. Zveritic. Hurdling Wayne Rooney. The beeline for goal. Johnson's got his work cut out. And, uh, Gerard has uh, spooned an awkward clearance, partially clear. Oh, dipping shot has hit the crossbar. Almost before Hart had twitched. What a strike that is. Ivanovic, the left back, with uh, a ball from the blue, which could have embarrassed England, who themselves now counter with Wright Phillips and get a free kick. Well, those are the margins. A uh, night which might be a shade grim could have turned dark, dark, dark here. Well, it's a good run, this one. This is just after that shot. It rocked the crossbar. What a strike it was. It was Jovanovic who takes it on his chest. It sat perfectly for him to hit it. It's a brilliant strike, and that has got Joe Hart beaten all night long. No chance of getting anywhere near that. So close England to going behind, but they have a chance now. And this time Gerrard on the ball instead of Adam Johnson. A let off for England, now a free kick for England. Gerrard's taken it. Mozovic has gathered it comfortably. Again, the white shirts have got to be running across the front of it there. They're all trying to peel in behind their defenders, their markers. Just get across the front of them there and cloud the goalkeeper's vision. Vukcevic. And Savic from right back. Kashalan. Kalibasic. He's hardly had to do anything, has he, Joe Hart? I don't think he's had a save to make all night long. Look at that. Wow. That is a fantastic strike. That really is desperately unlucky. Jovanovic. Huge fault, slice of fortune for, for England. And an inch away from a really horrible result. Oh, Davis uh, is well accustomed to uh, seeing a card after that sort of a moment. Five times booked already this season in the Premier League and on international debut. Mm. A yellow card for Bolton centre forward. Just backed his, backed himself in. He's just lifted his arms up. Stujovic who hits the floor. He's not seriously hurt, Peter, but all he's doing here now, of course, is giving his players a breather. They've all got a chance now to take some water on board. He knows what he's doing, don't worry about that. The next uh, qualifier, Montenegro, is uh, not until next June when they play uh, Bulgaria. English supporters have uh, a friendly against France to look forward to, if look forward is the right word. So we've had enough of this one. And just and as a footballing nation, we felt we'd taken a couple of tentative steps forward. And then uh, feel as if they've stalled a bit tonight. I suppose many may leave the ground counting their blessings, yeah. being grateful for small mercies because it very easily could have been worse. Might still be better. Four minutes to play. Forward by Ferdinand, on by uh, Davis and behind. England haven't had a goalless draw since uh, that most hideous of goalless draws against Algeria in the uh, World Cup finals. Still blank. Gerard. Right, Phillips. Cole. Up gets Davis. Comes back to uh, Sean Wright Phillips. 
Oh, Savage has uh, held it a foot. Just a free kick. Savage uh, has been booked. Well, it's another opportunity. It's definitely a free kick. Sean White Phillips there, of course, a lot sharper and quicker, having just come on. But another opportunity now. England do have guys, Lescott, Ferdinand, Kevin Davis, who can go and attack it. Gareth Barry's in there as well. And Gerard featured in, and the goalkeeper was uh, momentarily struggling. But uh, had plenty of bodies around him and the protection of the referee's whistle. Much better shape on the free kick, better delivery from Gerard into a, a very dangerous area. But if I said the goalkeeper was flapping a bit in the first half, he's been terrific in the second. Comes flying out there in amongst where all the boots are coming at him and gets gloves on it to just about beat it away. to Pekovic, who's uh, ignored the shouts and driven on. Vukcevic. Savic. These are nervous moments for England until they have the ball back, which they do now with Rooney. Time for him to re-explode. Judovic denies him that possibility. Phillips, a small man running at a giant team. And the ball for Cole, who can't get there. It's been that sort of night, Peter, where against a team that are well drilled, well organised, and are confident coming into this match with their results. That's a foul throw. That's a silly thing to do. From which England seek to profit in the 90th minute. Right, Phillips, got a second chance. Aimed in at Davis. Behind him is Johnson. Johnson's cross is repelled by uh, Pekovic. Came down to Davis and Barry! And Barry again, and the uh, goalkeeper gets both hands round it. Didn't really catch the shot, did he, Gareth Barry? It was on his weaker foot. He never really hit it. Adam Johnson had plenty of time to try and pick somebody out. Rooney with the header back across. It's half a chance that is on his weaker foot. Again, credit the goalkeeper for his work. I was just saying, that sort of night where if you're bringing on a, a Jermaine Defoe, someone like that who's looking sharp and amongst the goals for his club, England tonight are playing with Rooney, who's not been at it. Kevin Davis as a debutant, Peter Crouch, it was a tough night for him. They just look like they, not look like they've got enough in the last third. Three minutes to add on at the end of the 90. Rather flat end to England's competitive year. This couple of games are friendlies. France are here in uh, November. Um, to be confirmed, but probably a uh, friendly against Argentina in Copenhagen in February. Then Cardiff. To Livesic wide. Pekovic. Ivanovic, who might have won it for Montenegro. Yeah. Montenegro gave uh, the Republic of Ireland problems in World Cup qualifying before last summer. They've done well against Wales. They've beaten Northern Ireland in a friendly, and uh, they're close to a special result here in England. Vukcevic. For Becherai. So Crenshaw is doing them a wonderful job at Capello's expense. England have had their unlucky moments as well. Should very clearly have had a penalty. Ivanovic was uh, at fault then, as indeed were the officials. There's not much hiding from the fact that this, uh, this is a little below par. Barry, Johnson, Glenn Johnson. Oh, 
of stoppage time left. Both nations went into this game with perfect records. And uh, both of those records are now within a minute of becoming slightly imperfect. Look, in terms of qualification for England, it is not catastrophic. It certainly isn't. But you're right. The performance has been poor, really, in the main. It's been a bit flat. It's lacked any real cohesion. And yes, it's had its moments. But I don't think this Montenegrin side have been stretched enough by England tonight. Not at home, not here at Wembley. And after the other two performances, the Bulgaria game, the Switzerland game, I think everybody came here tonight expecting more, Peter. And they haven't got it. This is one ahead up. Oh, this one a free kick. Last chance. Last chance. The three minutes promised are up. England will only get one more opportunity to get the ball into the Montenegro penalty area, indeed into the Montenegro goal. Uh, Gerard's free kick was uh, handled by Vukcevic, so they should get uh, another opportunity. Getting around the second ball, Stephen Gerrard's just going to clip this up, Lescott's on the penalty spot, getting in and around the second balls here. In by Gerrard, up goes Davis, goalkeeper has punched it clear, the whistle is to the referee's lips. Hardly what was hoped for, nor has it gone down well. England's winning Wembley run comes to an anticlimactic end, they have failed to score at New Wembley for the first time ever. And the apparent formality of their qualification no longer seems quite such a given. Celebratory Montenegro go into winter on top of this group and England end a competitive year they would prefer to forget with a rather forgettable result. The uh, full-time score at Wembley, England nil, Montenegro nil. OK, so the wheels haven't exactly come off, but uh, what should we say? The tyre pressures might need checking or the wheel balance or something. We'll stretch that metaphor out a bit more. Join us to pick over the remnants of a, a frustrating night for England, sure.